With a budget of $500, you can still have good control, great camera quality, and agility in your drone. So let's take a look at the DJI Phantom 3 standard. So for your first drone, you probably don't want to spend more than $500, but you still want that professional looking video footage. Well, we're going to take a look at what the DJI Phantom 3 standard can do. The 2.7K video camera gives you some awesome resolution. Allowing you to download in different formats of MP4 and MOV. This drone will provide you with some professional looking video footage. It even has a time lapse photography option. Now, I don't recommend that you fly it around trees like this, but this will show you the true agility of this drone and what you can actually do with it if you have the skills to fly it. At around 20 minutes, the flight time is pretty good that the battery provides you and it really packs some serious power. Recording in up to 40 megabits per second, the video footage won't lose any quality. DJI even includes an 8 gig micro SD card when you buy it from their website. So I think the most important feature on this drone is the video stabilization it provides. The three axis gimbal keeps the camera perfectly steady even when the drone's performing tight maneuvers at high speeds. Just watch how perfect that video is when the drone will come to a sudden stop and the camera still seems steady on it. Smooth camera movements are the most important part of professional looking video footage. And that just gives you more control when flying this drone and recording video. With a max ascent speed of 5 meters per second and a max range of around half a mile or one kilometer, you can really get up there to get some amazing footage high up in the sky with this drone. Just look at the detail on the ground. And with a max altitude of nearly 20,000 feet, the drone will run out of range before it gets too high. But I think range extenders are available. The video quality you will get will actually be a lot better than what you see here because I had to use a screen recorder to convert a file to use this footage on my phone and I rendered down to 1080p. So this isn't even a 2.7K resolution this drone's camera will give you. These dramatic camera sweeps give you that cinematic look. Although we don't have any evening or nighttime photos in this video, the drone's manual camera settings do give you the option to do that. You can do this by adjusting the shutter speed on your drone's camera. You can also adjust the ISO, and this can be done for video and photo for those low light shoots. When the battery runs too low, the drone will return home to the spot where it took off, but at 3 meters per second descent speed, you can bring it down pretty quickly if you want to. Here it's coming in between the tree branches. I don't recommend that, but Levi's pretty good at flying this thing. Um, you can just see the control he keeps over it. You know, it's just hovering right there next to the trees. No problems at all. Coming down for smooth landing. I was pretty impressed by this drone for being under $500, so hopefully I gave you some basic information and gave you a little look at what it, it looks like when you're flying the drone versus looking through the drone's 2.7K camera. I got most of the information for this video directly from DJI's website, so click the link in the description down below and it will take you directly there. This is the Phantom 3 standard drone review video. Thanks for watching.